Hello, you're watching the Telecom TV Summit on private 5G and the Edge. I'm Guy Daniels, Director of Content. And I'm pleased to say that joining me now is Mark Halliday, who is Head of Product and Programs at McLaren Applied. Hi, Mark. It's very good to meet you. Thanks so much for joining us on the summit today. Now, McLaren Applied has announced the development of a new 5G intelligent edge antenna technology that's specifically for moving vehicle applications. What makes this a 5G edge antenna? Can you explain to us what's different and unique about it? Yes, yeah, so traditional antennas are, are passive elements, um, whereas ours is firstly an active antenna, so we have the the radio elements from a typical kind of vehicle router or gateway uh, built into the antenna itself. So that firstly simplifies things, but then also we have brought in additional processing power, so edge compute power, uh, Wi-Fi access point, uh, and additional software that we provide and others can run um, to bring that added intelligence to it. So you can run a host of applications um, on it, which, which simplifies kind of installation, uh, maintenance, etc., um, but really brings that intelligence into the antenna itself. So, so Mark, why did you decide that there was a need for this new antenna technology? You've explained about you know how this is a bit different from from what's out there at the moment or what's come before, but but what persuaded you to, to actually go ahead and develop this? So, so we've seen over over the last decade at least, uh, growing amounts of data coming off vehicles, uh, growing numbers of applications running in vehicles as well. And then there's that, uh, that need for taking some of that data off the vehicle, running applications in the cloud, sending the data back to the vehicles itself as well. That's all growing and 5G just increases uh, how that's gonna happen and, and the number of applications and, and use cases possible. Um, We've seen from, from some of our work in, in rail and, and on other sort of road vehicle projects that typically you can end up with multiple uh, different sort of boxes, computers in the vehicles, um, typically two, three, four. Um, we, we've done some work on rail already with a, a, a sort of 5G edge antenna there and seen tremendous performance improvements. Uh, as well as that simplification of architecture. So we wanted to bring that to other markets in a much smaller form factor um, where we could really simplify the, the overall installation uh, management and, and sort of reduce the overall complexity of, of applications running on vehicles. Um, together with, with some of the software we provide that uh, we can utilize two modems on the Halo 300, um, our sort of Formula One inspired um, Fleet Connect software can, can combine multiple mobile networks together uh, from different operators. So it provides a very robust and, and seamless uh, connection or network to the, to the vehicles or, or other uses. Um, so combining all that into a single package is really uh, um, something unique. And, and we thought it, it really brings sort of uh, differentiation to the market. Well, you're obviously looking at use cases and deployments above and beyond competitive racing because you've got a lot of heritage there with the McLaren Group and a lot of us will know McLaren from, from Formula One competitions. Um, you've spoken about some of the use cases and some of, some of the examples there of where this is uh, applicable, but you know, how, how applicable is it to, to private 5G solutions in other sectors? Can you explain a little bit more uh, about how, how this might be used in other sectors? Yeah, so... While uh, sort of passenger vehicles and uh, passenger Wi-Fi is, is a very obvious sort of use case, and that's using public networks typically, um, we do see great opportunities in, in private 5G where, uh, particularly outdoors, where there's so many advantages over traditional sort of Wi-Fi solutions, uh, both with, with the range, with the speed, um, and simplicity of the overall networks. So, so our, our unit being power over ethernet, powered it's it's simple to add to to vehicles but it can also be used on fixed infrastructure as well um, so it can be part of that overall sort of private 5g network 
we we see a lot of opportunities for use of this product in uh, construction sites, mining, uh, uh, airports, ports, um, and, and other areas where you have um, both moving vehicles, static infrastructure, but you're looking to provide that that sort of single connectivity solution across them. Um, because we also include the sort of Wi-Fi as well as 5G, it does mean we can sort of provide a hybrid approach as well, which is which is uh, very interesting and helps people kind of build towards that, that sort of full new deployments. And these examples you mentioned, the real classic early private 5G type deployments that we're seeing in the market at the moment as private 5G really takes off, these, these large installations where there's a lot of vehicles, a lot of movement going on as well. Um, now, as I understand it, this is closely coupled with 5G edge installations. So what advantage does the 5G edge bring for this and the applications it's going to use on it? I mean, why focus on, on installing this in, in edge locations? Well, by enabling that uh, that additional compute power we bring to the edge, it, it enables uh, customers to to run a whole number of applications directly on the vehicle themselves without having to add additional computers, uh, hardware, cabling, etc., to to the the vehicle. So it could be, for example, passenger Wi-Fi, uh, where you're running additional applications such as media content or or information services for the for the users uh, without having to go and fetch that information from the cloud um, it could be condition monitoring where you're collecting a lot of vehicle data and, and you don't want to always transmit that off board um, or you don't want to be having someone coming uh, to the vehicle and taking a USB stick out for example every now and then when it's collected a, a lot of data um, so instead you can be collecting data from from the vehicles sending it to the cloud to to run initial analytics but then longer term when you're in operation running those analytics on there on the edge um, so it's it's reducing the amount of data that needs to be run but uh, getting more real-time information and and uh, alerts etc to to the operators and finally mark do you engage with the wider ecosystem here i mean are are the open networking communities important, for example, and, and are, you, are you looking to get enterprise app developers to engage with the solutions? Yes, certainly. Um, we, as, I, as I mentioned before, we have a, a rail product which uses a, a, a similar edge platform, and we've engaged with people on that over the past uh, year or two, uh, where we actually have a, an ability for, our, for partners uh, and, and customers to access the 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 5g edge uh, devices remotely uh, and get their software working within it uh, within our, our kind of secure lab environments so we've already started building that partnership with a number of people um, and yeah we're, we're very much looking forward to building a, a broader ecosystem around this we we're very um, confident in our abilities and what we focus on but we obviously don't provide every use case and uh, and do everything ourselves. Uh, and we, we very much like to partner with, with people to, to build out sort of best in class solutions. Absolutely fascinating, but we must leave it there, Mark. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Cool, thank you.